This is great advice if you own or manage a business. When we owned Sonic Drive-Ins across four states, I would always tell my managers, you need to be best in the world. And they would look at me and say, Paul, you ask too much. But what I meant was, you need to be the best in your world. And for us, our world was any place you could grab a quick bite to eat within about a 15 minute drive of one of our restaurants. But hey, even if you're the best in just that small world, you're gonna grow sales and profits. So how did we do it? Well, hey, let me show you. Let's go for a ride. Woo! You never know if you're best in the world if you don't get outside your own four walls. So I love to go visit the competition. And don't go visit the bad ones. Visit the strong competition, the ones who have lines all the way around the building and they're taking your customers. So when I shop the competition, I'm specifically looking at four things to compete with. Is it clean? Is it fast? Is it friendly? And most of all, is it delicious? One of our biggest competitors is McDonald's. People complain about McDonald's, but they sure do eat there a lot. Hey, McDonald's does a great job, especially at breakfast. Whenever I shop, I always like to check the time. Woo! Today. What are we ready? An egg McMuffin and a small cup of coffee. So I'm number seven in line. See how long it takes. Hold up for you. Egg McMuffin, small coffee? Yes, ma'am. It is 490. Okay, what size is it? Orange, small, medium, or large? Thank you. Thank you. What else for you? All right, here we go. Boom, not bad. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So let's talk about it. I was number seven in line. It took me five minutes and 39 seconds to get my order. Best in the world? No. Not bad, but pretty good. But don't pat ourselves on the back too much if we are faster than they are. Because we got to take a look. Are we best in the world at everything? Were they cleaner? How did the uniforms look on the employees? How did the lot look? But one of the biggest reasons people come to McDonald's is because of their consistency. Are we more consistent than they are? Try this. Now that's good coffee every time. Now we're going to check out a location called Flying Burger. It's a real small franchise. They're kind of local. There's only seven locations, South Arkansas, North Louisiana, but they do a great job. They have a really big menu, but every item has great quality on it. So let's check them out. I wish that I had recorded the phone call. I phoned in my order because the young lady on the phone's name was Maria, and she was about the friendliest phone person I've ever heard. Now for this particular location, they don't have a drive through window. They have a, the only thing you can get from the drive through is a call in order. So I called in my order, pulled onto the lot 11 seconds ago. Let's see how long it takes to get to the window and to get my order. So this business is pretty new in town. It's been here three years, but even after three years, the building still looks brand new. The parking lot, drive through lane, spotless clean. This white building, bold move, white building, spotless clean. Oh, here we go. Hello. Uh, call in for Paul. Paul? Paul, the uh, burger with mayo, no cheese? Correct. <laughs> Paul? Paul? There's a, just a burger deal with unsweet iced tea. Burger with mayo, no cheese? Correct. Uh, I sound like Carl. Carl? Carl? I sound like Carl, Carl, whatever. <laughs> you don't call me late for dinner, right? Yeah. Give me a little extra ketchup also. Sure. All right, there you go. Bye. Thank, Thank you very sir. much. Have a good one. So from the time I drove on the lot to the time I drove off, four minutes, 14 seconds. Yep. These are hand cut fresh french fries. So hot, it's burning my mouth. And I promise you, the burger, it's a smash burger. It's excellent every time. Hey, clean, friendly, fast, and 
delicious. Let's go try another place. Now there's always room to improve and if I really want to see how much better I can get and only if my self-esteem is really high that day, I might go shop my biggest competition. I might go shop Chick-fil-A. Oh my gosh, how do you even get in? There's so many cars, how do you even get in? All right, I'm gonna sneak around the back way. Pulling onto the lot right now. Start the timer, always gotta start the timer. It's not that I'm sad I have to shop Chick-fil-A today. They do have their peach shake back for summer. I'm gonna throw a little customer service curveball at them. See how they handle a special order. Hello. I have an order. Paul. I'll go over to the... I need uh, just that regular chicken sandwich meal. Can I get a peach shake instead of a drink with my meal? That didn't, seem, that didn't seem difficult. Yeah. Any sauces for you? <laughs> Nah, okay. Will that be it? That's it, man. Total will be 12, uh, 12 16. All right. Here you go. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. So the heat index right now is 99 degrees. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You too. 7.46. Amazing, so good. I love the peach shake. Was it clean? Yes, fast, pretty fast considering how many people were in line. Friendly, hey, that kid wasn't over the top. Like a lot of times you expect a Chick-fil-A person to really be over the top, but it, two things. One, it's 99 degrees out and he's a quiet kid. But when I asked for a special something something, I said, hey, can I get a shake instead of a drink? He just said, yeah, man, no problem. I mean, just never missed a beat. So that to me is great service because I wanted what I wanted. And yeah, it cost more to get the shake. We didn't have to talk about that. I've been to too many places when I say, uh, can I get a shake instead of a drink? Nope, well that's silly. But this guy, he's got great service because he gave me exactly what I wanted. He was friendly and he moved me right through. And hey, is the food delicious? Oh yes. And now for the really hard part, but the most important part, you have to go back to your own business and shop yourself. And shop yourself hard. Don't give yourself any excuses because if you're not cleaner, faster, friendlier, and more delicious than any of your competition, fantastic, that's awesome. That means you have room for growth. If you were the best, hey, you got no more sales to make. But if you have room to get better, that means there's more sales just waiting. So go back and figure out how to do it. Now shopping other places from the outside is great, but if you wanna know what it's like on the inside of my biggest competition, then you wanna see this interview I did with the local owners of this Chick-fil-A where they showed me inside their restaurant. It's fantastic. You'll definitely wanna check it out right here.